Uh, guys, I'm back again. <laughs> These guys, they're fucking funny. So every day they're coming out with a new stimulus and more stimulus. And what did I tell you? It's the law of diminishing returns. You need more and more and more and more and more and more trillions uh, to keep it going. And guess what? The more and more and more and more and more trillions are not going to create more economy. Why? Because the government cannot print value for a currency. Cannot be done. I will keep saying it until I'm blue in the face and until you guys start to figure it out. Um, this is the way it works. Okay? If the government could create value for a currency, then Venezuela would be an economic superpower. All right. So that's that's just the way that shit works. Like it or not, that's <laughs> that's the way it is. Like it or not. So, what does this mean? One, remember Jason talked about, uh, you know, what happens with local and state government, right? Very big problem. So, they've addressed that now. They said, look, we'll just fucking keep buying those. We'll, we'll keep funding the state and local government. So, whatever the state and local government needs, they can just issue bonds, run it through the open mar market loophole, and that's it. We are now in a communist uh, economy is that going to create economic growth no it will not okay it will create more and more and more and more dollars and we're, we're going to have a smaller and smaller and smaller economy now we have almost a non-existing economy even when we get on the quote-unquote the back end those dollars are still going to be around they're not going to disappear it's almost impossible to um, uncreate dollars okay so remember these trillions of dollars did not work when we were at max employment full productive output it didn't work so why is it going to work now hmm? why is it going to work so, Nick, well, how, how would you deal with it? Well, I would deal with it very simple, in a very simple manner. All debts to anyone in the whole entire economy are frozen, period. Everybody will receive the equal amount of dollars, okay? Uh, those who are doing hazard pay are going to get more, okay? Uh, free health care to everybody, right? Anybody that has coronavirus or whatever the hell is going on, you got health care, period, done. The problem is you cannot print doctors, nurses, ICUs, and train personnel and ventilators and so forth. So you have, you have a limiting factor, right? And no amount of money or health care is going to change that. It's just not going to happen. And that's what real macroeconomics is about, right? It's about the real world, right? Not incubator economics. So the incubator economics came up with all these theories that will just print, will buy all the bonds of everybody and every company and uh, every small business and uh, everybody can get a loan and everybody can do this and keep buying bonds because whatever price that you buy them, we're going to buy them from you at a, at, a, at a higher bond price and... And that's how we're going to um, avoid the implosion in the bond market that had started. Okay, we don't know if that was going to continue, but that was that was the point. So, you know, we have to observe, see how all this is going to play out. There's so many moving parts, but instead of dealing with the problem that we have. They're dealing with financial problems that they created years ago. And those, those, you know, oh, let's have fiscal policy, let's have monetary policy. Those policies uh, took credit for recovering recessions. And everybody was high-fiving each other and look how great this works. And, you know, we found the cure to economics and we could just print, print, print and everything would be fine. No, that is wrong. 
The economy did not improve because of fiscal and monetary policy. Did it help? Yes, but it came with a cost. What is that cost? That cost is the law of diminishing returns. And they patted themselves on the back thinking that the economy recovered because of fiscal and monetary policy, that we have created new problems, and these new problems required new tools, and those new tools are QEs and repos. We took emergency measures that we could use in a recession to print money, to assist, not to recover, to assist the recovery, expedite, to remove the fear, without doing what was required once the economy uh, recovered, and that is to run surpluses or run very small deficits. Okay. That led to the great financial crisis, that led to more QE, that led to more um, financial engineering, that led to more incubator economics, and that's what every single school of thought out there that I've seen uh, uh, is running. It's an incubator uh, economics. Everything is focused on the dollars and trillions that they can print and not on people. So you can buy all the manipulation state and local government <laughs> state and local government bonds you can buy all the bonds of every single company you can do whatever you want we're all going to be on lockdown there's still not going to be an economy and uh, they're just going to need more and more and more trillions and, uh, and they're not going to get the economic growth why? because no government can create value for a currency been saying that for a long time so that's what's going on right now. Um, they'll take care of the junk bond market. They'll take care of state and local. And uh, every company, Boeing, and everybody and their mom. Still not going to create an economy. It's going to create the next problem that we're going to have to deal with. And the law of diminishing returns, remember this, is going to... Uh, is going to uh, outpace any amount of money, any limitless QE and loans and deficits they come up with. And if you don't believe me that that doesn't work, well, look at Venezuela, look at every hyperinflated economy where the production collapsed and they hyperinflated. Look at all the deficits that were spent and repos and QEs that got the stock market to all-time highs that didn't work. Look at anything uh, associated with any of the incubator economics. None of it is working. Not even today. And this is why I said this is the end of MMT. People are saying, oh, we're in MMT world now. No, you're not. <laughs> you're in the, in the ruins of MMT. Okay? You're in the ruins of incubator uh, economics. Then in the perfect world, perfect things happen, and we can just print, and we can have value, and... Nobody has to go to work. We can all just sit home and sit on the couch, watch TV, and we'll have an economy. Just because we print it. Just because we QE'd. Bullshit. Wasting your time. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.